So the first thing we're going to start with is a pivot balance drill that we do at the elbow. And this is about creating turns and balance. Just about every shot that you take in a game has some level of a turn. If the ball's over here, you need to face up and then square up to the basket, however that is for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you a bunch of dribble exercises and spin exercises that we're going to do off of one foot. Helps us with our balance, helps us with our uh, ball preparation and body preparation. Okay? So we're going to start out the elbow like this. This is sort of a finished product, and then I'm going to show you the progressions to get there. So first one we're going to do is right foot step, left hand dribble. And the way you're going to get to the end is this, here, and then 360 degrees around, ready to shoot. Now, if I ask people to start there, there's a little bit of a challenge. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Duncan and, and uh, Ryan come on over here. Okay. The way we start this is simply by a quarter turn. So Ryan, what you're going to do is stand about right here and face me. Okay. And then use your left foot as a pivot and then push your right foot onto the elbow, right, okay? And then we're gonna go make that quarter turn. So face me first, dunk, there you go. Now step, good, good, okay? Now, so the next one, after you do the quarter turn, we're just gonna move this way. So we're gonna move counterclockwise this way. Start right there, yep, same thing, good. Now what you'll notice, keep going, dunk. What we'll notice here is our guys are, are just warming up, we're dribbling ball and foot at the same time. Okay, hands on the ball before that second foot touches. We create that level that we're gonna shoot our shots from. And then up the shot goes. So Ryan, let's move to the next progression. So now we're gonna go right. Now it's gonna turn into 180 degrees. Good, okay, same thing, done. Good. And as we get, as we get comfortable with that spin, let's do one more from there. Yep, excellent. Okay, good. And then as we get comfortable with that, we're going to move to here. And as you notice, the progression gets a little bit more challenging each time. So keep that level, hold your dribble to a ball and foot. Good. That's it, Dunk. Good. And this is Duncan's first time trying this. And Ryan, it's been quite a while. So as we go, let's move it up again. Let's go right to the free throw line, Ryan. Good. Okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, that's it, dunk. Good, good, one more time from there. Very nice, yep. Good, now just as a habit, Duncan, what we're gonna do so we'll slide up to the next progression. But as a habit, let's always push our heel onto the elbow, okay? Kind of gives us a place of, yeah, consistency so we know how far our steps are going, etc. So Ryan, this is the last one before the 360 degrees. Very nice, very nice. Good, good. So what we should be noticing with both guys is how vertical the posture stays. Use your eyes to help your balance. Each time we make this spin, we want to put our eyes on the rim as early as possible. That will help our stop and it will help our balance. So let's go all the way to the top now. Come on in a little bit closer. Yeah, we don't need to overstride that. And so it's heel right to the elbow and around we go and boom. Okay, so this is Duncan's first attempt at the 360. <laughs> Not bad, Dunk. Not bad. <laughs> it's supposed to be fun. Let's do that one more time. Really good. Really good. Really good. All right, Dunk. Good. Okay, so, no, no, it's, that's, that's the fun part of this. There's always going to be a challenge. You're going to challenge your balance. Once you challenge your balance, it leads us to challenging our hands. When we're trying to remember one thing, we have a tendency to forget another. So these are always the principles that we have here at the shooting guy is to constantly challenge the simple with the complex. And that's what we're doing here. So just so we understand how this is gonna work, what you just saw was left hand dribble, right foot step, 
and what we call left hand ball in front, okay? And that's this, the ball going here in front of us all the way around to the shot, all right? What we're going to do next <coughs> is we're going to do it, that was left hand, right foot. So now we're going to do right hand, left foot, okay? So let's start <coughs> exactly the opposite. So here, right? So now you're going to start facing out this way, a little bit closer to the elbow ride. Face out to me. Yep, and a little bit closer. I know you're explosive and a monster, so. Good. Good. Very nice. Good. Use those eyes, Dunk. boy. Good. And so, yeah, let's go one more time. And this is a great drill to practice the habit of dribbling ball and foot at the same time. Hold that dribble. Good. Good. Now we go to the next one. Okay. Move it down. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. Use those eyes, Dunk. Much better dribble. Out of boy. And these are challenging shots for the guys because both of them are three-point specialists, too. So we get used to shooting at the mid-range. You'll see early hand preparation. Really good balance. That's excellent, Duncan. It's really good. Okay, let's go to the next one, right? <clears throat> so as you see, what we're going to do, because we've changed feet, is we go opposite in the direction that we progress. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, very nice. Good. Good. Let's go to the next one, Ray. Good save. That's all right. <clears throat> now, a point of emphasis, too, is when you get started, you want to just work your way around at a comfortable speed, hold your balance, okay? And then, as you just saw Ryan go, to make it more of a challenge for yourself is make your turns go faster. And we're always going to try and get to the lifelike and get to the game-like. Okay? Go ahead to the next one, right? Good. Good. Nice, Dunk. That's it. Yep. Oh, looks good. Keep that chest up. Yep. Keep working that chest up. Use those eyes. Yep. There we go. Hey, and a uh, good save. <clears throat> we also have a rule here at the shooting guy, and I can't quite say it the way I say it to my players, but just remember this, that if you mess it up, finish. The defense doesn't know that you've made a mistake, and there are a lot of times in a game that things are going to be imperfect. We have to be able to learn to shoot off balance. We have to be able to learn to shoot when the ball comes loose in our hands. When things aren't perfect, we still must deliver, okay? So it's a good way to practice that. Keep going, right? Okay, go to the next one. Yep. That's it. Really good. Really good. Good, Dunk. Good. That's great. And then all the way to the top. <laughs> Now you're going to find two as a player. <laughs> yeah. You're going to find two as a player that we will have a harder direction. <laughs> Hold on one second, Ryan. We're always going to have a harder direction. Generally speaking, right-handed players turn their right shoulder to the basket earlier much more easily than going the other way. And this second one, that's why we did this one second. The second one is slightly more of a challenge when we get to this 360 degree turn. So let's nail this one more time, guys. Good, good. <clears throat> nice, Duncan. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> so as this all comes together, we've put together what this drill is called is a series of eight. So what you just saw was the first two of the series. We walked you through the progression of how to get all the way around to 360 degrees. And believe it or not, you can actually go farther. Okay? A lot of times when I demonstrate, I'll do 540 degrees. Doesn't matter how far you can actually go. But what we're going to do here is we're going to challenge 
every single direction and all of your hand prep. So what you just saw was left hand dribble, ball in right, right hand, ball in front. Then there's right foot step, left hand, ball in front. The next one is going to be left foot step, right hand, ball behind. Okay? And what we'll do, guys, is let's just give it a shot. <laughs> and yes, we should have fun with this one. Let's just give it a shot where we dribble with the right hand, left foot step, take it behind you, and we'll just do the 360 degree one. Okay? So it's, yeah. So you're going to step here, this, and turn that way. Okay? Right. And now I know, it, I understand that it looks easy, but. It, trust us, it is a challenge. So this is the first time for these guys. Ryan's actually never done this one either, so this will be fun. Here we go. Yep. That's it. Excellent. Good. And what you're going to see is both of our guys are really good at eyes up, chin up, chest up. And that first time trying it, they're a little careful, but that was really terrific work. Okay, so now let's have fun. Let's do it one more. There we go. Good. Nicely done, Ryan. Very nice. Good save. Good save. Good. Okay. So now, in continuing, we'll go right, right foot step, left hand, ball behind. Okay? Yep. Same thing you just did, only in the opposite. Nice, Ryan. Good. Hey! <laughs> Good save. Now, as you just saw Duncan, fight through your struggles. Fight through your struggles. Use our principles. Keep your eyes up, your chin up, your chest up. You'll find your balance, hands get on the ball, and you'll battle your way through. Now, the reason we call it a series of eight is we do all four from that side, and then we turn around and go to the other elbow and do it from the other side. We can stretch this drill out if you want. We can do it at the three-point line. You can move it in. Any challenge that you see is necessary. If you want to make it more challenging, we can do another thing in terms of hand preparation. So what we do in, as we go ahead and spin, now we will spin and we'll take it around our back as we come around to get ready to shoot. There's always another layer of challenge. And the more challenges that we can overcome, the easier the simple becomes. Give that a shot. Let us know what you think, and we'll see you back here in a minute.